Bantama constituency right now, where fighting is reported to have uh, broken out at the cultural center. Okay. This is uh, this is the uh, the particular center where uh, the delegates will be. Uh, sorry, the the aspirants will be voting. Erastus Asaridonko is there. He joins us over the telephone. Erastus, what's happening? Well, uh, Kojo, I think we can start playing you the videos of what just happened here. Uh, the trading of blows and physicals uh, here between uh, supporters of both parties, so Chema Bwaje and Asenso Bwaje. And it is the same thing we started reporting from the Methodist uh, uh, Church. Uh, the Ahimbronum electoral area. And I think we can start playing the videos now uh, for you. Um, they, it started with one officer who they claim is the is a BNI officer trying to vote here. And as he went through, he was going through the process, then uh, the supporters of Oshambwaje engaged him and said that he cannot vote per the electoral laws because he's a security person and so they will not allow him to vote. Then the uh, uh, trading of insults and other things started. Then the punches uh, started, the specific started, and then the whole voting exercise was thrown uh, into a halt uh, for uh, close to 30 minutes uh, because uh, the, the various parties could not hold themselves apart. We have the incumbent MP here himself and he was telling them that it cannot happen, and he was trying to restrain some of his members uh, from trading blows, but then the blows had started flying over here. Then we have the camp of uh, Asan Sobwake, the former uh, member of parliament, uh, Honorable Kokofu, who was also here, and uh, the, the, the chaos went on for close to 10 minutes. Currently, the voting has been disrupted. Uh, for now, the uh, EC officials are trying to uh, put their things back and continue the process. Both parties have been able to calm themselves down, and um, voting should start any moment uh, from now. So if you're seeing the uh, pictures that we're showing you, uh, those are uh, trading of physical blows right here uh, between the various officials. And it's stemming from the fact that they say that once you are a BNI officer, a police officer, a security officer, per the electoral laws, you cannot vote and they will not allow you to vote. It happened at the uh, Methodist Ahimbronum Electoral Area uh, polling station, and then it's happening here at the Kotra Centre, which has turned physical uh, at the moment. So that is what is happening here at the Kotra Centre, Kwati Aydan Hall uh, Electoral Area. Now, um, you, you, you tell us that it took a good half hour for the um, authorities to restore calm. Uh, are there no security officers there? I can see police officers in, in the videos that uh, are playing right now. So what's the problem? Why did it take so long for the, the, the security officers to resume control of the situation? Kodo, it's interesting. Uh, we have um, some police personnel here. I can count that police officer. And then we have some uh, fire service personnel also supporting uh, here. But both sides were shouting at these security officers to arrest the other person. I have a Chema Bwaji asking this uh, police official to arrest uh, the guy who was throwing punches, the other one who was also resisting, and the other one was also chanting, arrest him. So uh, at the point, the, the, the security officers were confused as to who to arrest, rather than go in and try to calm tension down and try to bring both parties to uh, calm nerves uh, so that the process can continue. And that is what happened. So uh, both parties have to restrain uh, their men, uh, bring them at bay, and allow the, uh, uh, the whole thing to continue. But they were trading of insults, verbal insults, some printable words that they were using here uh, between both parties uh, here at the cultural center. So it looks like the security agencies were not interested in arresting at the moment because both parties were shouting arrest. So you do not know uh, who to arrest and all that. So they had to try to calm nerves down and allow the process to continue. Right. Uh, so at the moment, uh, have there still not been any arrests? There's no arrest at all. There has not been 
any arrest at all. Uh, the uh, member of parliament, uh, the incumbent member of parliament, has uh, gone right. to his vehicle uh, okay. behind me. We have live uh, images now of uh, Daniel Ochimab who are just speaking to to uh, to us. Let's let's listen to that. That an officer of a BNR has voted. Over here, the guy called Derek. We understand works with either the Foreign uh, Affairs or BNI has come to vote. And that's what he was challenging. And then the government had to fight him. This is what is going on. If that is happening to be the case, we know what to do. The, the electoral officer claims that once the name is in the uh, uh, register, they should be allowed to vote. As of now, I am the incumbent MP. I have not been given a copy of the register. As I speak to you right now. That is not fair. There's some manipulation going on. But I will deal with it. I will get to the bridge. How, how will you deal with it? <laughs> Let's get to the bridge. We'll cross it. Daniel. Right, Erasto. So you can continue that narrative. Continue explaining to us why there have still not been any arrest, in spite of the fact that we saw live on screen uh, uh, blows and move, physical assault. Um, into the live mode now. Uh, stop playing the video and move into a live. Yeah, we're coming to you, Erastus, um, so that we can uh, we can continue the conversation. But uh, we can hear your voice. So please keep explaining to us uh, what is the reason why. Or a reinforcement of security personnel coming in. Um, at the moment, and as you can see, uh, we have additional police officers coming in at the moment uh, to try to maintain uh, calm uh, at the moment. So uh, quite a number of armed police personnel uh, brought in uh, currently uh, to maintain uh, law and order. You can see in your shot over there. And it's, it's still not clear. It's still not clear why we are not uh, seeing any arrests. At the moment, it's not clear why we are not seeing any arrests at the moment. But I'll try to find out uh, from the we'll try to find out uh, from the security agencies um, because th there was so much uh, chaos here, uh, trading of uh, punches and other things. You expected that there will be some arrest uh, here, but then there has not been any arrest, and uh, both parties have calmed their members down and they moved them uh, over uh, to. Uh, let the uh, uh, process continue. So uh, I think, I don't know who called them, but then uh, there's a reinforcement of security uh, to try to calm them, to restore order uh, here so that the process uh, can continue. Right. Uh, thank you, Erastus. Uh, we're going to have to come back to you for more on this uh, as it unfolds uh, Disturbing images from Bantama Cultural Center, uh, where the uh, supporters of the two aspirants are clashing over uh, a person alleged to be a BNI officer who attempted to vote as a delegate. And uh, as has been made clear, uh, uh, even again by um, Mr. Evans Nimako, the director of research and elections for the NPP, that is not allowed. 